This episode of Royal Key is brought to you by BetOnline. BetOnline.ag is more than just an online betting platform. They boast a focus on the player approach and have built their reputation on offering clients nothing but the best. From cutting edge technology, enticing promotions, and the latest sports betting odds, BetOnline, the best online betting site on the internet. Also, stay tuned to the end of the episode to find out how to win this Texas Longhorns golf pack. What's going on, world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here with UT's head coaching of golf since 1997, Coach Fields. How you doing, man? Nice to have you here. Thank you. I'm doing great. Uh, we're glad to be here. Now, this is our first ever golf episode. We've done football, hockey, lacrosse, you name it. So tell me, what about a golf facility makes it different from any other sport? All the sports have essentially their own facility. But in our case, we have a golf course, we have a practice range, and then we have a short game facility. In our case, we also have what's called the Speed Floor 40, which is a six hole short course. And then we have this wonderful academy. A lot of different things in here that are monumental for our program. It gives us the opportunity to recruit really well, but it also gives us an opportunity to prepare. We're in my office here at the academy. A lot of history and memorabilia in here over the 22 years that I've been coaching. I'm gonna put you on, on the hot seat uh, and I'm gonna choose a few things in here that kind of stick out to me and, and you explain and, and bring back that memory that you, you might have of it. Starting with the guitar. Austin is the live music capital of the world. So we thought what better way to express that than to make that the trophy for our Morris Williams golf course. We had won that tournament the year before and oddly enough, we had three individual champions tie for the championship. It was Jordan Spieth, Dylan Fratelli, who just won this last week at the John Deere, and Julio Vegas. And that was the team that won the national championship in 2012. I'll go back to the coach of the year plaques. There are several big 12 coaches of the year plaques in here. Our first conference championship was 2002. We won 2002, 2003, and 2004. We didn't win again until 2013, and we won 2013, 14, 15, 16, and 17. I have been fortunate to be nominated and then win the National Coach of the Year in 2012 when we won the National Championship in 2016. You have to be top 10% to make it to the National Championship. 30 teams make it to the National Championship. Our program has won 1971, 72, and 2012. Okay, Coach, every sport celebrates their great players in different ways. Obviously, you guys do it in a totally different way than any other sport. Explain this here. These golf bags that are above our lockers are all tour bags that have been used in competition by our tour players, which most of those guys are all Americans. So you got Jordan Spieth, Cody Gribble, Dylan Fratelli, Kramer Hickok, Bo Hostler, Jonathan Vegas. And Jonathan stands out because Jonathan was not an All-American here. He was that great physical talent that you thought might end up being a great player. And that is a really, really good player on the PGA Tour that's won three times and won almost $15 million playing. Now I'm gonna put you on the spot again here. I'm gonna name, you know, a few of the guys yeah. and you give me something that okay. we may not know about them uh, okay. while they were here. So yeah. I'll start with the obvious, Jordan Spieth. Jordan had a lot of opportunity. He's one of two guys on the planet that have won multiple United States Junior Champions. We recruited him since he was about 13 or 14 years old. It turns out that we recruited against Stanford, UCLA, USC, and Oklahoma State, and he finally chose Texas, because if you cut Jordan, you'd see that there's just a little bit of orange blood there. Tell me about uh, Dylan's time here. Yeah, Dylan Fratelli came from South Africa, and it came down to Arkansas, or Texas, where he was gonna go. I knew we really wanted him to come to Texas. I was hoping that he would choose us. What we found out is that he absolutely loved his experience at Texas. He stayed four years, and if he could have stayed another, he would have. 
And then lastly, let's, uh, let's talk about Bo. Well, Bo Hustler from Orange County, California. Okay. He came to Texas. Uh, likewise, he was looking at Stanford, USC, UCLA, but it came down to us in Arizona State with, where he was gonna go to school. The reason he chose Texas was to kind of get out of the bubble is what he calls it. And the reason he calls it that weather-wise, Orange County, San Diego may be some of the best weather in the world but it's not reality. Yeah. So he came here because he wanted to see wind, he wanted to see some cooler weather, he wanted to see some hot weather, he wanted to see different types of grasses that he was gonna play on on the PGA Tour. So really what he wanted to do was expand his horizons and that's why he ended up coming to Texas. Now, I hear from your director of ops that this is like the number, I guess, two competition in right. here outside of golf. Right. Like, players spend a lot of time here and you have a board for it. A lot of golfers just love playing ping pong. I, I don't know exactly why. I think a part of it has to do with the, the hand-eye coordination, but it's a fast game. It's one that you can measure yourself against other people and uh, these guys are competitive. I'm seeing a lot of books. How often do they read in here? I, I think we've got a really nice library. Every once in a while they might pull a book. There's books about the Masters and the U.S. Open here. There's books about Ben Crenshaw and Tom Kite. There's books about Harvey Penick, uh, one of our former coaches. There's a lot of insight in there. Now, walk me through just a typical day in the life of a UT golfer. Our guys come out here pretty much every day. Any day that ends in Y, they're playing golf. If it's just a practice day, they'll get here around one o'clock, they'll come in here, maybe uh, hit some putts and chips on the putting green. They might go over and hit some wedges or go through their full swing practice. They might come in here and do some video work. We have track men. Then they might go out and play nine holes of golf. We have a fitness center here as well, so they might use that at the end of the day, take a shower, have dinner, and head home. Hey Coach, the way this is set up, you can't help but to think success. Well, what we try to do here is surround our guys with success. And so our All-Americans are up on the wall in picture form. Our major champions are up on the wall in picture form. And then what we've done is we've highlighted the national championships, the scoreboards from 1971 and 72. And then we followed that with the 2012 national championship. The All-American plaques, those are things that are really important to our program and to college golf because that's essentially where the PGA professionals come from. It's a dream, it's what these guys come here for. They wanna be all Americans, they wanna win national championships and it's all here on a daily basis for them to see. And then if you look right here, this is our Bevo, but these are our major championship plaques. So this is the Masters, the US Open, the British Open, and the PGA. We had an artist that was so kind to do this Bevo in bronze. When you win a major championship, like Justin Leonard has, like Tom Kite has, like Jordan Spieth has, Mark Brooks and Ben Crenshaw, your name is gonna be on this trophy. What I didn't realize is, is how this would affect our team. What happened was when Jordan won the US Open, my wife and I were fortunate to be able to go to the little party that they had at the home that he had rented with him and his family. And I was sitting next to him and he grabbed my arm and he said, Coach, are you going to be able to update the trophy at the academy? And, and at the time, my brain was still kind of connected to the NCAA. We had been upset that year. I thought he was talking about updating the national championship. And I go, you, you mean the national championship trophy? He goes, no, the, the trophy in the academy. And I'm like, the trophy in the academy update? What are you talking about? He goes, Bevo. <laughs> and, and I thought, oh, you mean the Grand Slam trophy? And he goes, yeah. And he, I said, well, your name is already on the Masters. And as soon as I get home, we'll take it to the engraver and we'll put your name on the US Open. And it was like a relief to him. What I didn't realize was every time he walked out of the locker room to the driving range, he walked past this trophy and he was visualizing his name on those plaques. And he's got three of them now. The one he's missing is the PGA. And if he does that, he'll be one of just five or six people in the history of golf that would have won all four major championships. Our right, coach, our viewers are uh, big on equipment. Several neat things that are associated with Texas. 
Number one is that our school has a wonderful association with Nike. And so Nike Golf supplies us with our golf shoes, the cutting edge products that make up our uniforms, and it gives us an edge against our competition. As far as golf companies, we work with Ping on our golf bag. That's called the Hoofer. It has Texas on it. It has the Texas logo on it. It has the Texas flag on it. It will also end up having embroidered the name of the player on it. And then Titleist helps us. A lot of the golf ball companies work with us, but Titleist is the company that really works with us and we're very appreciative, really, of all the golf companies. One of the things that we're very proud about here is that a player can use any golf club that they want, any manufacturer that they want, whatever they desire. Explain the logo on your hat. It is called the Swinging Bevo, and it was originated by George Hannon. George Hannon was our third golf coach. He was on the cutting edge of, of getting our program at a highlighted value across the country. About that time, uh, he had an artist design what he's called the Swinging Bevo. It not only commemorates collegiate golf at Texas, but what it does is it, it, it really commemorates George and Joe Hannon. He didn't have an assistant at the time, but Coach Hannon's wife, Joe, was an integral part of our program. And if you talk to their players, they love them both. All right, Coach, let's actually just talk about the range. There has been a lot of thought that has gone into the development of this driving range. The entire range is TIFF Sport Bermuda. But the greens are a Xeon Zoysia, so there's a little contrast. And then what we did is we added targets at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 yards. They look like sand pits, but they also have flags attached to them. And that is designed for wedge work. We added trees, and the reason we added trees was because we wanted to give a player the visual of, of some sort of fairway out there. So you're not hitting into a big, ambiguous driving range and developing bad habits. Scotty Scheffler and Gavin Hall, two of our recent graduates, love playing basketball. I like them playing out here where I know who they're playing against rather than at the rec center at UT against six foot six guys that don't care if they hurt you. And for us, free throws is actually kind of important because you go through a routine. We like to think that we're recruiting athletes. That's why we built the basketball court. So you can see this is the hill country. The reason we put this here was kind of a congregation point for our team and for recruits. Our golf course is surrounded by a bird preserve and that's what you're looking at there. All right, so this longhorn here is called Heading North, and it was donated by Bill and Rusty Duval. Basically, it commemorates Jordan Spieth's success thus far in, in golf and highlighting what he did here at Texas and then having won now three major championships and 11 times on the PGA Tour before his 25th birthday. Really just it makes you feel good when you see it. We're out here on this little four and a half acre area that really originally was a little bit of an afterthought. Today, it's called the Spieth Lower 40. What it is is a six hole short course with six holes that are between 80 and 120 yards. We went to Jordan with the idea. We want him to help design this facility uh, because he has such a, an eye for the game itself, but also he is known as one of the best putters on the PGA Tour and his short game is always dynamic. As you go along here, you'll see the Longhorns that were dedicated by Bill and Rusty Duval, some plaques that call to the attention the success of the program. And when we get around the corner, you're gonna see what is super special to all of us, which is our wall of champions. And that is all the PGA Tour and LPGA Tour victories that our alumni have won over the last 70 years. So we'll just go out kind of the middle of this because there's one more that you need to see. So when Jordan designed this, so along with Roy Bechtel, they decided to commemorate the sixth hole at Riviera Country Club where we won the national championship. The sixth hole at Riviera is iconic because it has a little bunker in the middle of the green, a little pot bunker, and that's what our sixth hole has here too. Well, Coach Fields, thank you uh, so much for letting us tour uh, UT Golf's facility. It's amazing. You guys have set the bar high because this is our first uh, golf episode, so uh, I don't know where we go from here. George, thanks for coming out. We enjoyed the day spending time with you here at the UT Golf Club. It's a special place. Yeah. You guys are special people, and we couldn't be happier to share this with you. And, and to all your viewers. And for a very special Longhorn, we'll put together a little package that commemorates Longhorn golf, and hopefully one day we'll have more great players like the Jordan Spees, Tom Kites, Ben Crenshaws of the world. 
right here at UT Golf Club. Awesome, awesome. Until next time, your host, George Kill. Thanks again to betonline.ag for sponsoring this episode of Royal Key. Join them today and use the promo code Royal Key for a 50% welcome bonus. Again, that's betonline.ag. Make sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash Media to see more Royal Key episodes. 